Hello, my peeps. It's Friday morning. Whoop, whoop, weekend. Uh, my son is down to the final, like, well, basically four weeks, and then he's got, like, in a two-week period, two exams to write, of having to set my alarm to get my kid up for school. I'm very excited. Every Friday I get excited, but it's even more so because the weeks are just about done. I'm here this morning, uh, pre-recorded, because things are busy right now, and I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss this or forget it like I did last week. Sorry. So, I have not one, but two, that was a crazy sound, but two kits to show you this today. So, I did I did the catch up on business type stuff on Tuesdays. So, if you want to know about classes and sales and things like that, that's all on that on the Tuesday recording. Um, today, we're just going to play. We're just going to do these kits and, and have fun with it. It's so funny how clean this box is when it's all done. Everything's so nicely contained. This is the beauty of it. You could probably take... You probably could fit maybe three of these, depending on the size of the kit. But for the most part, they're they're quite um, compact. Um, of these kits, put them in one box and take them with you. And have hours of entertainment in your cabin, your trailer, your hotel room, your... Hiding on the back porch <laughs> from, you know, whatever. Um, sorry, I've just started a small landslide on my desk. Just to give me a moment. There we go. And, um, yeah, they're just all inclusive, ready to go. Take a pair of scissors with you. These are my package opening scissors. Take better scissors. <laughs> um, and you're laughing. I mean, some of the kids you don't even need scissors for, quite honestly, but some you do. Okay. Maybe take a little garbage bin, because you're going to have a little bit of garbage, but... Um, okay, let's see. We have this, sorry. This kit is called... I'm just, I get so excited about these things, I don't even... I, I just sort of, like, lose it and start focusing on whatever I'm doing. This is Hello Hollyhocks. Hello Hollyhocks. And we are all the same envelope. Nice and easy. Just a minute. Put that, I put that in my way now. Yeah, I said there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I have got stuff on my desk. Who have I got stuff on my desk? I, I carved out a little, tiny little niche for today's crafting, and that's about it. Okay, so one card base. Look how pretty this is. Look at that. Uh, two card bases. That one, that one, it's all about the die cuts. And I'm just, I like, this is how I like to do my kits. I really should have moved these 75 blocks I have out here. Um, I like to take everything out. See, oh, can you see the pattern on that? Oh, I like it. Um, I like to take everything out. I just got, I just got to shift a couple of things here. It's ridiculous. Um, and make my little piles of what goes where. Uh, partially because then I can see, you know, what everything's supposed to look like and match them up before I start. But also because then if I decide, hmm, you know what, I'd rather do, then I've seen all the pieces to begin with. Look, 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 look at these die cuts. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get this piece of cardboard out of the way, but I didn't want to wreck any of my die cuts. Because this is beautiful. So as always, I think if you watched every video I did, you'd be just like, woman, you've told us this 50 times now. But I figure somebody might be watching for the first time, so I'm going to probably just keep rambling on about the same things. Okay, so there's our kits. And there is a, the individual put together instructions. But usually the first thing you see when you flip open, and it will tell you, this goes with this card, this goes with this. So that's a good way to sort your kits if you're not 100% sure. Lots of times I can just look at the picture and figure out which goes with which, but I don't always get it right. So it does make more sense to actually follow the kit. Um, are there two different ones of these, or are they the same? No, see, this is why you check things. There's a tall one and a skinny one. So I'm not going to pop every piece of this out, but I do need to make at least one of each card. So there's a there's the lighter green. This would be the old olive. And then there is the pretty and peacock. And because my hands are busy, I'm not going to pick it up again. But on the back of the instructions, it tells you what the coordinating colors are. Um, I can just tell because sometimes it's just colors that I use a lot and I'm very frequent. Okay, so those are two for there. And so if you're watching as you do this, you can see it. It's it's kind of busy on here, but um, this one is taller, right? So the longer one goes with this, the shorter one goes with here, and then the old olive, there's only one of. Um, 
<laughs> mm. Okay, I'm trying to find somewhere to put the extras. There we go. And then we need... You just got to be careful because they, sometimes they stick together. This is a three and this is a two. So the three goes on the speckly. And the two goes on the... Oh, the two has a frame. The two has a frame attached to it. It's not on top of the frame. Look at that. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm so busy looking at what I'm doing. I'm not even sure if I'm on camera still. So it all comes together. Look at that. And then we have the bigger... Or the... Narrower, sorry, that's what I went with, um, sentiment thing. And we have the bigger sentiment thing. And then somebody get real creative and use this little negative for something. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got those. And we got some extras for the other two cards. I can pick them up. And then we have a sentiment. Oh, there we go. I was going to say there should be one more, one more thing here, though. And there is. It's just, it's in with the sentiments. So then we have the speckly. This is reverse speckly to this card that goes on this card. And then we have our sentiments. So a quarter, we have thanks, merci, bedankt, danke, Dutch, German, French, English. One of the few words I know in all the languages. So, even though I may, danke, I think I'm saying right, bedankt, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but, um, but at least this one I know <laughs> which word is which in these languages. So yeah, all the sentiments will be in these four languages. Um, and I am... Actually, I'm going to make this one French. I'm going to go with Merci. Uh, which, I will be honest, now every time I say Merci, I think of delicious chocolates as well. <laughs> okay. And then we have... Ooh, pensez ami, ami, amicale? Oh, I don't know why I even tried. Abondicte <laughs> I had to make things up now. Hoi! So we have a hello and a thinking of you. So the thinking of you. Uh, nope. I'm going to do them all in French today. Why? Oh, just because. Thinking of you and hello. Bonjour. See, bonjour makes me think of, that's a, that's part of a song in, um, if you say it lyrically, in uh, the Beauty and the Beast musical. Okay, so we have lots of extra sentiments there. Because there's enough that you, you can put... Like three in English or three in French or three. So there's like nine of each sentiment, really. No. Four times. Yeah, four times three. There's 12 of each sentiment. I was doing the math wrong. I knew something wasn't working there. Okay, so I got all my bits and pieces. And then I have my envelopes are over there. Okay, so. As always, in the. Let's put this in the order of making it so we can move at our desk. <laughs> Shuffle those ones off. I'm just going to line my little thing up like I do. And again, so especially on this one where it's green, um, you want to you wanna line up your corners and put the grip on it, as my dad used to say, and um, do it so you get this, because you don't want to have any kind of uh, like a reveal of the white popping through, so you want to do that. And then, because see, now I'm just looking, okay, I... I'm just looking at the, at the pictures of what goes with what kit. Doo, 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 this is going to go on here. I should actually see the actual picture of what the kit is supposed to look like. Oh, this one goes behind. Okay, what, what, uh, what? I was going to say, what electronics? What adhesives came with this kit? We got some tear and tape. Actually, I don't usually use this tear and tape. I keep these tear and tape so that if somebody's at a class or something, and they, um... And they don't finish or they need a little something to like finish their project at home i could just like throw one of those ones to them and instead of giving my look at how big this roll is i go through this stuff like crazy um but yeah so we're just going to use my own stuff because i keep the little kit stuff to give to people okay so we have this one is going to go down it's just going to tape down is what they show and then this one we're going to put up on some embellishments which are in there and then i don't know if i mentioned it when i was first opening the kit but, oh, I thought they were flat. They are not flat. Same as these, right? I keep the little, just in case somebody needs them. Look at these little gems. <laughs> See what I did there? Look at these little gems. Oh, they're very sparkly. But they're, um, they're actual gems. They're not little, I thought they were like little flat discs. Oh, they're pretty. Very pretty. Um, okay, so now that I've done that. Oh, there we go. I was going to say I've buried my own dimensionals. There we are. 
This one comes with little mini dimensionals, which is nice. Lots of times the ones in the kits are the big ones. Oh, well, I can see why now, because these corners are not very big. You, you have, the big dimensionals would not, they would be hanging out if you stuck them in the corners. So we're going to put one there. I'm actually just going to put one more there. Okay, so this is going to go out. Oh, I like it already. So I was just going to say, this is weird. This box is going to show, but the box is not actually going to show because these are going to go over top. So this one I'm going to stick on. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stick this one on. I know, I turn this one over and then put the tape on the other one. That's how I roll. I'm going to put this one in the center. And then I am going to put a little tiny piece of tear and tape. It's right about where the M is, right here. I'm just going to put a little piece right here. Because this should hit about there. And then I'm going to put my dimensional on here. And then once I get the other stuff fastened down, this will go on. That's going to work just beautifully. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this, hold this where I want this to be. Because this, this I want to be like lined up and equidistant and all nice. To... And then I'm going to figure out, I'm going to hold just one corner of this for now. And then I'm going to figure out where I want this so I can get like as much of a reveal on here as I want. Then <laughs> I'm going to move this one out of the way while holding this one. And the beauty of tear and tape is it's the this new tear and tape the backing comes off nice and easy so i'm i'm just lifting up the part i need to without moving the whole thing there oh. there we go now my piece is where i wanted it to be and then we are going to and like i said this the sentiment's covering it so even if it's a little wonky it's still going to work we're going to peel off these backings and we are a week away from extravaganza. That is where my focus is right now. And we've already planned out the Christmas one. And it's so funny because right now I'm looking at all these and I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be so nice. Like the, the rain that we had and then this nice little bit of heat and everything's going to green up. And I've already seen like the leaves across the street from us. The leaves are flushing out in their trees and the grass is starting to show green spots. And I'm like, yay, summer. And at the same time, I'm thinking about Christmas <laughs> because we just finalized a whole bunch of stuff last night about our Christmas extravaganza. So it's very funny. Sorry, I just realized my hands were not on camera. Okay, so I've got sticky on one end and a, a uh, sorry, tear and tape on one end. They're both sticky and, and a, a dimensional on this end because this one's already popped up on dimensionals and this one's going to hang over. Otherwise, they're going to be kitty wumpus. And then we're just going to put this down in the corner. There we go. And my pokey tool, my pick your nose tool, as I like to call it. And we'll just use this because this is the this is the cat's meow for getting uh, little gems picked up. I don't think this is where the instructions tell me to put these, but I mean I can listen to the instructions only so much, and then I just have to do what I want. <laughs> so there's one card. Look how quick that one together. It's pretty. Very pretty. Uh, yes, I'm going to put that one there. Okay, next up we have Ponce Amicalis. Amicalis? I don't know how to say that one. I'm trying to I'm trying to think back to my French class and see if I can like sound it out, but it's just not happening. I just realized I did that one backwards. Oh, it worked out. Okay, um, this is very pretty. So this one, okay, I, I'm sort of sort of half looking at the instructions. This one's going to go here, and this one's going to go over top, and then we're going to put this one on. <laughs> and I'm looking at it as I'm going and thinking, well, why don't I just tape these to the back of this and stick the whole thing down? Um, which is not exactly what they tell us to do. This one needs dimensionals. But it is what I'm going to do, <laughs> because, again, I can only listen so much. 
Sometimes I just have to do what I want. So lots of times, like I put that down where I wanted it. I do want to, just one little bit. Um, actually, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to do what I originally said. A lot of times I'll just do this. Right? I'll just put, I'm just taping it down. Because I know I'm covering it with this. This one I was, was where I was actually going to put the stuff on and just hope I trapped it underneath. But I have sometimes missed on that too. But here's the one thing I will tell you. If you're going to do this or if you're putting dimensionals underneath something and then you're sticking over top of it, take the backing off because the backing is slippery. So it's not going to adhere as well to. And so if you happen to hit perfectly on here onto there, it's, you have the potential to pull it off. Like you'll pull the backing off and the piece that you glued to it with it. So always just take this extra little piece off because um, it just it gives you a little more secure product. Um... Yeah, probably should have checked that first, but that's okay. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to pop these little backings off. Look at, see, these cards could go together quick. Or they could go together slower, depending how much you're paying attention. I'm sort of half and half, um, really, to be quite honest with you. It's funny, I was going to look and, oh, there we go. I was going to look and see this time where they actually did put these. And I can't even see it in the picture because they put their little gems in here amongst the flowers. I like to be able to see the gems. <laughs> I don't want to have to go, although I guess you could play a game. Find the gems. Um, and I do, it, it's always it's always the same. It's two in one spot, one in the other. Look at that one. That one went, oh, this is such a pretty card. Okay. Oops, move that one out of the way. Bonjour. Hello. I wish I could remember the rest of that song. Now I'm going to have to go watch Beauty and the Beast just so I can remember. Take my three envelopes so I don't forget those. Look at this. Even the envelopes with the pretty little like detail on the flap. Love it. Okay. Last card in this kit. We have to I have to try to like pay attention to what I'm doing. I should have paid attention to when I started. Because I've got two kits to do today. I do love the kits. And every time they come out, I I pretty much just go, oh, I'll get both of those, thanks. And I just order them and, and then I anxiously wait for them to show up. Uh, what is this card supposed to look like? We're supposed to have this, and then we're supposed to have this, and then we're supposed to have this. Okay, I'm gonna just move a few things around there because I don't, don't want covered. Oh, that is very pretty, very pretty. Um, why do they not have anything? Ooh. So the only thing they're putting on dimensionals is the sentiments. Well, that's just not going to work for me. I like dimensionals too much. So I'm going to pop the flowers up too. Um, which means i got to do my same trick again on the on the sentiment. And oh, I guess I should be able to figure out by the flag end. And only put the dimensional on this side. And this side I will put a piece of tear and tape. So that I can stick it to the tree once the tree is in place. And then this one, I'm just going to, I'm going to pay attention to the fact that I don't want to have this too high or my things will be off the page. I kind of want this just behind the stems. Um, they have it higher up in the picture, but that's not what I want. So I'm looking like just over an inch. Just so I know where I'm putting this when I, because I have to move the other thing. You could just dry fit it again, but I'll just, it's not that critical of a measurement. And I know roughly that I want just over an inch. I'm going to put it, because right now I'm going to be focused on centering it this way. So I just, I dropped this down onto my, um, and I haven't actually pushed it down yet. So in theory, I could very well move it, but as it turned out, it went where it was supposed to. And then we just pop the little backings off of this guy. Oops, I think I missed that one. Yes, I did. And we're just going to put this one here. Yeah. And then, yeah, I kind of like it offset. I like the three of them offset, which is how they show it. They Well, there's a slightly different, but, but they still show it offset because then you get like little bits of everything. Bonjour. And we are going to... I want it there. My only, when I do this, my only decision is where's the one going and where's the two going? And I like it when I, oh, so I like that. Where did they put theirs? 
Uh, they put two here and one here. <laughs> ah, not even close. But look how pretty. Oh, those are very nice cards. Nice and flowery. I'm going to give them to some French people because I put all the sentiments in French. <laughs> okay, I will take pictures of those later and put them out. Um, yeah, they're just, they're such pretty cards. They go together quick. They give you something to do. I'm going a little speedier. You could have a nice relaxing, oh, just a minute. You know, put them together, make some tea, chat with your friend while you do it. Um, I'm trying to keep the video to a certain time. Pebbled Path. Okay. Oh, I see this. I'm just, I figured the potential for making stamps. And I, I get asked to make new home cards all the time, and I never have, like, a good apartment one. But I could, I could make, like, a cityscape and put, like, a little heart to show, like, an apartment building. Oh, I, think there's, I think there's potential for reuse of that one, too. Okay, so this one is called City Sites. And it just occurred to me. <laughs> so this, this, uh, I obviously wasn't, I saw the stamp set and went, hey, it's a stamping kit. But it occurs to me now, <laughs> now that I'm, like, actually putting it together and paying a bit more attention. Um, again, there's a little some adhesive tape. We got a new block. Uh, I'm just going to pop those out. Um, th this must have printed sentiments in it because there's sentiments on the samples, but this doesn't have sentiments in it. So look at that. So let's see what we got. Oh, look at these envelopes. These envelopes are awesome. They have just brush strokes going up, but don't the brush strokes look like the buildings? That's awesome. This must be the new basic beige color. And this looks like boho, which, you know what, like I said before, some, there's a couple of the blues because I'm like, is that a boho or is it, it could be a, like just a, a sh lighter shade of misty moonlight, but I think it's boho. So we look on the back and we say basic beige, basic black, boho, copper clay, misty moonlight, oh, there's both, <laughs> and pebbled path. Look at me go. Look at those cards. Sweet. Okay. So, let's get these sorted. And this one is different because a lot of times there's like three of three. This one is four each of two. Oh my God. You know, even if you don't make this a cityscape, is that not just cool? And I love those colors. Sorry, I got totally distracted. I love those colors together. So yeah, boho, misty, beige, copper, and pebbled path. We're going to make a different card out of those colors. That's gorgeous. And then the other base, and things are falling. The, oh, see, look at these. Oh my God, the card bases are so, so nice. Oh, I just love those. Um, totally distracted, love it. Yes, see, there we go, printed, which means you get four times the things again. Happy birthday, Seth Tejouni, it's your day. Du bist grandios. Uh, that sounds Spanish when that should probably be German. And then... Fienvergerig? <laughs> I apologize. To all people whose language I have just totally massacred trying to read those things. <gasps> oh, look at these things. Okay, so... This is, this is why I opened Kits Live. Because I get so excited and I want you to be so excited. And you can see that it's okay to be a total stamp and nerd and get excited over all these little bits and pieces okay so this this one is going on the, the gray card i'm being very careful about it so this is the piece we're putting on the card but i gotta wonder if oops i can't see that if if that somehow works into the spares or or nope doesn't quite uh oh i don't know there's got to be a way we're just going to put that in there. We're not going to turf that one. And then we have, I also think, oh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's the combination of that. Sorry, I got totally distracted. I'll show you that other piece in a second. You could put this back in here like this. And then put this back in like this. And just kind of put a little bit of temporary adhesive on it. And you could sponge this and you would get like a funky layout background. 
Just saying. Sponge it or like the blending brushes or something. Oh, yes. Okay, we'll put that one up there. Okay, so then this one is for the other card. And that's the other um, skyscraper, or cityscape skyscrape. Oh my goodness. Remember years ago, two or three years ago, it's got to be at least that long. We had the corrugated, oh my god, I love corrugated paper. I can tell you, I don't know why. It's just one of those things. I just love it. These, that's part of it. Um, these are awesome. Um, this is going on this card. And then there's a shorter flagged one that's going on the other card. I can guarantee you that none of this will go to waste. All these little strips in the in-between pieces and stuff will become accents on other cards. I love corrugated cardboard. Okay, and then so for the other card, we have Thinking of You, Je Pense à Toi. Here's licking Glückwunsch. <laughs> okay, that one I didn't even try very hard. Oh my goodness. The Dutch is going to be the one that's the... Oh, Optukunjibon. See, and Dutch is so pretty and so lyrical, and I am just not doing it justice. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stick with the theme, and we're going to make... Je pense à toi. We're going to make the French ones. Uh, this one goes with... Which one goes with which? It makes sense the long skinny would go with the long skinny. And the round would go with the round. And sure enough, that's how it works. Oh, look at that. Okay, so what are we stamping then? Oh, I'm so intrigued. Did I show you this at the beginning? I don't think I did. Look at these gorgeous little copper dots, too. Metallic. Oh, pretty. In this teeny tiny little bag that I will open while I'm thinking of it. There we go. Okay. Put my cardboard in my cardboard stash. My chipboard. Okay, so what are we stamping? Um, we need a piece of scrap paper. We are stamping. Oh, look at that. There we go. I'm just going to grab, so I don't have to fight with the thing, because I know I'm already over. <laughs> just going to grab my big stamp pad. My chair seems to be squeaking a fair bit today. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, what block do I want? But, as you know... <laughs> Uh, cause I put the block that came with the kit somewhere. I have no idea where I must've buried it by something. Um, it always comes with a D block. So that's what size block I need. D. I'm going to pull these both off while I'm going. Cause I have no shortage of blocks. So I'm putting them both on. So this one looks like it is like the exact width. Sometimes you can put them an angle to get them to fit better. This is not one of those times. So just make sure when you're putting it down, like the stamp is a little bit, like the actual part that stamps is is the important part. The The stamp itself has a bit of a border on it. There we go. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. So this is hanging over just like slightly on either side, but it's the the top of the stamp that's the important part because otherwise you're going to, you're not going to get a clean image on the edge. And then this one, I don't know. Um, it's like small acid rain or just cool pattern. I'm not sure what it's meant to be. That one fits on sideways. Okay, so we're gonna do this one first just because it's the one I grabbed. Oh, oh, landslide again, landslide again. Listen, I knocked over my treat holders that I'm working on for extravaganza. Okay, oh my goodness, I love these bases, holy cow. I'm going to do this the right way this time. Well, I want to make sure that the top is on top, or the front is on top. So that when I do this, and I'm being very careful, that I actually have the right the right piece that I want to make sure is covering up. Okay, so this is going to go like this. And this is going to go like this. And this is going to go here. And then this little dude is going to go underneath. But we are going to stamp the cityscape. On. Now, because these are photopolymer, well, any stamp is a good idea, but especially because they're photopolymer, I like to make sure that you do a test stamp first. Because sometimes just the, the coating, like the manufacturing process of it, it makes it so it's not, it doesn't take the ink quite as solidly. And if that's the case, this one stamped beautifully. If that's the case, if you put your stamp down and you just kind of twist on your paper, um, it kind of helps rub off, but it makes a heck of a mess, but it kind of rubs it off a little bit. But yeah, mine, holy cow, it took the ink beautifully. 
And because they are photopolymer, I can see right through them and line up to stamp. Now, the one thing I should have done, although I think this worked out, oh, oh, oh it's almost like I know what I'm doing. Look at that, that's so cool. Um, this, this beige is quite close in color. I find that if you, if you put the contrasting color, so I use my silicone mat a lot. I had this one out because I like to, I like to be able to stamp off. And when I'm done stamping, I like to do this just to get the last of it before I clean because it keeps the, the cleaning sponge a little bit cleaner. But I like to have as much contrast as possible between what I'm stamping on and what's behind it so that when I go like this, it's really easy to see where the edges are. So for the next one, I'm going to do it that way. But oh my goodness, look at that. Okay. I want to... There we go. I'm going to put those on dimensionals. What does it tell me to do? What is that thing it's showing me? Yeah. I don't know. Why is it? It's, for some reason, it's showing me to only put dimensionals on the top. Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay. Where'd my take to? Oh, there it is. Okay, so what it's... Sorry, this is the joy of watching Tracy as she, like, half reads as she goes. Again, if I was making something just for myself, do I would just do whatever I wanted. I wouldn't even read the instructions. I would just look at the pictures and go, cool, and take things out and start doing. <clears throat> but I am trying to give you guys, the, like, a full view of this is what the kit looks like. <laughs> um... So I am trying to follow some instructions at least. So the reason they said to only put them like that is because you are putting this onto this. And then, even though this is thicker, I'm still putting embellishments on the back of it. Not embellishments, dimensionals. <laughs> there we go. And then, this is gonna go like this. Oh. Oh my god, I love this kit. <laughs> Sorry, it's just so nice. So, in the thing, it actually shows to put these on, like, and I, I can't believe I'm actually going to say this. It actually tells you to put the sentiment on dimensionals as well. But if you dimensional and dimensional, because this is a little bit thicker, uh, that's never going in the mailbox. So, believe it or not, I am actually not going to put dimensionals where I'm supposed to. And I'm just going to use tear and tape. Because I want it to be able to fit through a mailbox. It's not actually the mailbox. It's the slot that tells you um, whether or not you're paying regular postage or whether it becomes parcel rate. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Am I still on? Yes, okay. Oh, my God, I love this. Oh, oh. There. So I put everything together and then I guess I could, <laughs> could peel the backs off and stick it. There. Oh, I love these cards. I mean, I like the flowers. They're very nice. And I can see very many people who are going to love getting those flower cards. But holy cow, do I like this kit. And the funniest part, I'm not even a big fan of cities. But this kit is striking. Oh my goodness. And then... There we go. <laughs> then I have to find my little my little pokey tool because I lost it again. Um, and then I'm going to put uh, my little bronzes on. Oh my god, this is nice. I feel like I should put one on the tag somewhere. I don't know why, but I just feel like one goes on the tag. Where do they put theirs? Not on the tag. See, and they put one of theirs on the building. I don't want to put one of mine on the building because then I won't be able to see it as well. I kind of like the idea of... Oh, goodness, I like this card. Sorry, I'm, I'm losing. Did I? Oh, I did pull out the envelopes. Okay. I was going to say, I am losing it this time. It's partially Friday, partially how nice this kit is, and partially a bunch of other exciting things that are happening right now. Oh, my goodness. See, now, and I, I will tell you, I do like, I have to move this for a second. Um, I do like to stamp the inside. So I do, it is a bonus to me when it comes with stamps because I like to put a little something. So this one in particular, when it's a really big stamp, I don't want to put a huge stamp on the inside. 
um, and I'm going to stamp this off to begin with so it's not quite as dark, but I like to put like just a hint of it. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I was, like I was showing you. Um, so I got like a little bit going on the inside of this one. Oh, I love this one. And you could do the same. This one is really cool. The other way I like to do my, if I'm doing insides and envelopes, I will sometimes do this. And you, oh, no, I was rushing. And I did not fully put my stamp down. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I fixed it. Um, and I will give you just like the side edge of it, just a hint going on to the envelope. Oh my goodness, do I ever like that card. Okay, let's move those other ones out of the way. Okay. <laughs> I'm seriously just trying not to knock everything on the floor. Okay, just do that one. Uh, there we go. <laughs> just try to find room. So the other benefit to the silicone mat is when you've done like what I just did, I made a huge mess over there with the... Um, the ink pad I can I can put my silicone mat down so I don't accidentally put my card in all that fresh ink and make a mess of my card oh goodness I like these cards okay so I'm gonna fold this one over as they craft on these things my little workspace that I have is getting smaller and smaller and smaller it's making me laugh um okay so this one goes here Gotta block the city. Oh, I'm gonna block it this way. I like these. Yeah. And then it shows this. Oops. And then it shows this. And what it's showing on this one is that we're just gonna put the the texture on these buildings. So I guess what it's meant to look like. It kind of does. Um, it doesn't fully cover, so. If, if it's going to bother you that it doesn't fully cover what you're looking at, <clears throat> then, <clears throat> excuse me, because you're covering some of it, like you could mask off and stamp in such a way that you get like full coverage. Again, I'm just doing my little tester. Of course, I tested it in a place I can't even see what the result is. Um, these kind of look like little windows. But yes, they're not going to cover the entire thing. They're going to cover most of it, and they're, yeah. So, but it does kind of look like little windows. So it is missing this little piece here. But I will tell you that if you are creative and careful enough, you could do this. Um, so, I just have got to find a scrap of paper. Just one second. <laughs> well, I ripped this one in half do this so it is going to look cool just like this but if all else fails and you want like on here you can also just do this this is meant to be a scrap of paper but it's a huge piece of paper you can also just do this right go like this and then there we go hit just enough that now you have it on the top right this is, this is like lazy masking. Instead of actually masking the piece off, just, you know, highlight the, like, make it so that only the piece you want is actually showing. <laughs> okay, just let me put this in the way, out of the way, because i got too many things going on to begin with. Okay, I'm going to pop this up. Should I pop this up? When I say should I, I just mean, is that what they did? Is that what the instructions are telling me? There's, there, it has to be popped up. Like, that's just, you need to, Part of, part of putting things on dimensionals is it gives you just enough of a reveal of, of what's below it, or behind it, I mean. Um, can I put them in here? I was going to say they look like they fit. And sure enough, they did show them there. Um, so yeah, it reveals a bit more of the color behind. Instead of solidly coloring it, <clears throat> excuse me, I forgot to bring a drink with me. A little bit more of it pokes through. So put my card in front do, do, do. Um, I just put my little piece of that scrap that I just ripped off I just stuck right over top of my little garbage can that is on my desk that I, I do try to contain the, um, <laughs> the the backings for the dimensionals but oh yeah they're everywhere in the house oh look at this, this is so awesome 
So when you go, when you, um, when you are done with this and you think, oh, but I need more, I need more, because I just happened to get it. I have a feeling that these funky new Spotlight on Nature dies that make these great circles, especially the one that I can't make it in the back here that has like these little cross hatching. They make these circles that I can make my own, like, you know, trim out the outside pieces and then using the stamp set, oh, and maybe some, some of the, like just smudging with the, the ink to get this kind of background look can maybe reproduce some of these cards. <clears throat> I'm loving it. Sorry, I just realized that I should, I should not um, risk sticking my card into the open ink pad as I have done many, many times before. Uh, okay, so this one is going to have to, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, this one needs tear and tape because it's, I'm popping it up on there. It's mostly, just a minute, sorry, it's, something's just, I have to be very careful doing this because I don't want to rip that little circle, but um, I just need that one. Something is not, I'm, everything I'm, pull, there we go. I'm trying to just give it just a bit of a something's a little wonky on my on my circle. There we go. Just a bit off kilter. Okay. So this is covering this is like sticking mostly on the circle. I just know that I can't go past about here. So when I put my tear and tape on, I'm gonna stop in true Canadian fashion. Last time I told you inches, I'm gonna stop about a centimeter back. Um, or half an inch, that works about the same too. Canadians like to switch back and forth between measurements. It was always entertaining when I was still working and we were briefing American crews and we'd say, well, no, for this we use this and then we use Imperial over here and we use metric over here. And yeah, it's just how we roll. Okay, this one I actually have to pay attention. I'm going to put a strip across the middle and I want it to hit on the middle, like where it's hitting the the ridges on the on the cor the corrugation. I don't know if that's actually a word, but it is now. So I need to make sure that I I get my tape in the right place. Oh, it's your day. These cards. Oh, so I forgot my little I forgot my little bronzes. Bronze brass. I'm not sure which ones they are. Okay, I'm gonna put one there. We're going to stick one that's going off into the distance. And then we're going to put a little one down here in the corner. Where is theirs? Oh, I was close. They had one here and one here. And one here. I was close to what they did. Look at this card, though. Oh, my goodness. I'm loving this kit. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Two more cards. So that's the. this is the City Sites, I want to say. That was the name, although... City sites, cityscape, city sites kit. Let me just get some of the garbage out of the way. <laughs> and the equally beautiful Hello Hollyhocks kit. Do it this way with the white. Look at these two kits, half hour, boom. Oh, I'm the fog study. How long I've been recording? So <laughs> maybe it's a half an hour. But just know that these kits go together nicely. And if you weren't rambling on like I do when I do them, um, you and, and there's more. Like I said, there's four each of these cards and three each of these cards. Oh, see, those little things are everywhere. Little backings. Um, you could just sit there with your cup of tea, pop on a movie, chat with a friend, put these kits together and have a lovely, lovely time. I did. Oh, cannot wait. And yes, en français aujourd'hui. I like to I like to know that I actually still remember something from all those years at school. All right, thank you everybody for joining me. Um, enjoy your weekend. I believe it is supposed to be eh, what some people would consider lovely out. I personally do not consider 26 degrees lovely at all. Um, but I have an air conditioned house, so I'm good. Um, but have a lovely, lovely weekend and craft lots and enjoy yourself. And I will be back on Tuesday with um, one of my new bundles. I got a bunch of new stamp sets and the rest of my orders, God willing, the extravaganza stuff will come today. I still, it still shows one order coming on Monday. It is the weirdest thing. I'm really hoping that maybe it, it's wrong and it will come with the rest of them. But 
Um, I have some new sweets and some new toys to play with, and I will be playing with one of them on Tuesday making something. That's how much I can tell you right now. Um, take care, everybody. It has been a great time. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye.